after looking at the data, I noticed some areas that we could really um, use more opportunities to practice. And one of those areas was complex text. Specifically thinking about how my students access the complex text. Um, and so it was really, it was a, when you first see the, the test, you're like, oh, my students, you know, they won't be able to do this. They can't read the complex text, but really you're like, what is, there, what is the feature that they're really struggling with in terms of how they're accessing that complex text? And so one thing that I noticed was um, figurative language. And so what, we, what I did as I designed my reteach plans and as I think about my curriculum in the future will be to focus on pointing out and being really st super strategic with how um, we look at figurative language, giving lots of opportunities for kids to experience figurative language and think about the deeper meaning, um, both in my curriculum and outside of my curriculum, especially in teachable moments throughout the day. Um, one example that I can speak to that was I, I never realized how much figurative language I actually use in real life, and so, like, just as I'm um, going about in conversation, and um, one of, I just said, oh, kids, I've lost my marbles, and one of my little girls is like, oh, I saw them, they were in Mrs. Martinez's room down the hall, and uh, that just made me realize, though, they do take things so literally, especially at this age, and so it's really important that, um, I'm giving them lots of opportunities to practice with figurative language and looking for deeper meanings and things.